And hockey fans, as part of our season-long farewell Rexall celebration, we'd like to take a moment to recognize all of those that have been a part of this organization. Once an oiler, always an oiler. Tonight, we'd like to welcome an individual who played in 425 games as a member of your Oilers, a member of the 1996-97 NHL All-Rookie Team and 2001 NHL All-Star. This defenseman also represented his home country of Finland in two Winter Olympics and seven World Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and welcome back to Rexall Place, number 44, Yanni Ninama. And as a thank you to the best fans in the hockey world, Yanni will be signing his jersey tonight and presenting it to Jim Sinclair, a season seat holder since 1979. Let's hear it again. Jim Sinclair, let's hear it for Yanni Ninema. Mr. Popular here tonight, Al. Uh, Yanni Ninema, everyone's coming up to the glass and waving at him. Uh, Don Metz came by and told him not to mess this up. But you're a Finnish TV guy, so I don't think we're in any trouble here today. Yanni, how cool is it to be back at Rexall Place to say hello to everyone again? Well, this place is special for me, and uh, it's, it's unbelievable to be back and uh, be recognized like this and see, see all the, seeing all the fans and, and friends. And, you know, Giving you high see, fives. You see, you see the smile on my face. I just can't stop my, my smiling. feels like uh, coming home. That's legit. Uh, Yanni, you played six seasons here. What do you remember most about Rexall Place as we get set to say goodbye to this building? Well, the, the intensity when, when we were playing hard and we were playing well and the fans were with us, the energy and the intensity in this building. It was it was something that I haven't seen in any other rink. And uh, those playoff uh, battles against uh, Dallas, Dallas. And, and, the, and the series we won against Colorado, that uh, seven game series, those playoff memories are the, the, the ones that I remember the most. What were those teams like? Because we remember the, the Oilers of the 80s were skill and they had the great players, but the late 90s Oilers, you guys seem to be like a group of buddies more so than anything. There was some skill there, Dougie Waite, Billy Guerin, yourself, Roman Hammerlick, but what was that group like to you? Well, like you said, we had some talent. But yep. We weren't the most talented team, but we had, we were the, we were the, one of the tightest group in the league. Right. We were so, it's like a family. We, we went out for lunch together, people, people hang out together, Europeans, Americans, Canadians, everybody got along, and Dougie Waite obviously was uh, leading the way there, yep. and uh, we were a tight group, but that's why we were uh, able to make a playoffs. Uh, pretty much every year that I was, I was here, but we were a couple of players sort of going all Just the way. Just getting over the hump. Yeah, it was exciting to watch, though. Some of those series were amazing. Uh, what's it like coming back to town? Because you've been here quite a bit over the last few years, especially last year you played in the world's longest hockey game. What was that experience like? And, and is Edmonton maybe a second home to you? Well, it is definitely, uh, you know, for my, the team in the series that I played for, I feel uh, m most at home in uh, Edmonton, and yeah, I came back last year. Here, yeah. I have a lot of a lot of friends uh, outside of hockey and in hockey, and and uh, yeah, I did come back because I had made a promise that if I'm retired when they do this uh, crazy 11 days, 11, 11 nights uh, game, I came <laughs> well, back for that. I didn't have time to uh, socialize too much because it was a grind. But it was a great cause, and it, you guys did a tremendous yeah, job. Yeah, and we raised a lot of money, and thanks for everybody who, uh, who were involved. It was an amazing experience. Okay, Yanni, finally, uh, really quick, what are you up to these days? Because I know I kind of hinted at it earlier, but what's it like in uh, Finland covering Finnish hockey and being a TV guy now? Yeah, well, I'm doing this. Uh, easy. You're easy. doing a great yeah, job. Yeah, natural, no problem. Right? Yeah, I'm doing, doing uh, that uh, for NHL and the Finnish Elite League, and... Uh, and I uh, also have my uh, event business. Uh, ah, we're doing, tell us a bit we're, about that. We're doing that. concerts and uh, you're a big heavy metal guy, right? Yeah, that's uh, that hasn't changed. Uh, <laughs> everybody here knows that I'm a heavy metal uh, maniac, and uh, that hasn't changed with dates. Well, Yanni, uh, rock on! Welcome to have you back, uh, as they say back in Finland, Kitos. Kitos, thanks, Ami. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. Yanni Ninema.